Hi, this is Dana from Engadget. I'm here at CES 2012 meeting with a company called Togi behind the Gaze, um, the Gaze interface, which uses eye tracking to control Windows 8. So we're here with a prototype setup, and I'm here with a company representative named Anders, who's going to show us how it works. First, he's going to calibrate the display. So he's beginning the calibration process. You can see that he's controlling this on-screen ball with his eyes. This setup requires both a, the hardware components and software components. So you'll see that there's an eye tracking strip below what would be a normal computer monitor. And there's also, um, you need optimized software, of course, to take advantage of that eye tracking. So the calibration process just completed. And now we can begin using the software. So the software allows us to not only scroll, but pinch to zoom, select objects, and really move the cursor around the screen. So we're gonna see it in action here. Now I'm looking around, I look at Explorer, look at the control panel, look at desktop, back see? at the Explorer. So we're picking different objects on screen, we just opened it. But if you look closely, you'll see that it's not based on eye tracking alone. That whenever Anders is making an eye-based gesture, he's actually incorporating finger-based gestures as well. So really, the eye tracking is replacing the clicking motion more than anything. Anders, can we see the pinch to zoom, please? You see, pinch to zoom requires him touching the touchpad. He can't just do, you do it with his eyes. So it's actually a combination of finger input and eye tracking. So that's been our walkthrough of the Wave interface, the, excuse me, the Gaze interface by Togi. And we're here at CS 2012. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.